2020 is all wrapped up. Thank goodness. But you know, it hasn't been all that bad. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to look at some of my favorite videos that we've made here on DPV uh, during 2020. So let's check that out. Although some things have kind of sucked in 2020, there's been some good things. You know, I got to spend some extra time with the kids and gained a whole new respect for elementary school teachers. We sold our house, which is awesome. It's it hasn't been it hasn't been all bad. So now getting into 2021, I want to talk about three tools that I'm going to use to get stuff done um, on my projects. So I've got other goals too that I'll kind of talk about fitness goals and that kind of stuff, but you know, this is not a fitness channel, but I got some cool projects that uh, working on to reach those goals. But as far as Jeep projects, hot rod projects, that kind of stuff, got three ways I'm gonna do this. Number one, we're gonna use what I call the punch list. Check this out. All right, so this is my punch list for the big chief. So what a punch list is, I learned about punch lists when back when I was a carpenter and we would be at the tail end of a project um, trying to get stuff done. And it was a, just a bunch of little things that needed to be done um, in order to punch out the project. I saw that term punch list, but this is more like list of things that I can do in, you know, 45 minutes to an hour at any, at any given time. So. Um, actually, I can cross that out. Oh, dry erase doesn't work. Anyway, intake install, that's done. Oil pump install, yeah. So these are all items that are pretty short, pretty short and sweet that I can do to uh, get my engine put back together, get ready for the big chief. Um, then moving down the list, you know, engine wiring harness. That might be a little bit longer than, uh, you know, 45 minutes or an hour, but I can do it on my week off. Um, and so, yeah, just having a punch list, having it written down and having it, having things that are, you know, accessible, some, things that are uh, not too overwhelming. So there's, there's some things that I just, because of where we're at, um, we are kind of in this weird limbo stage where we're renting, trying to find property to build a house and one, and we don't know when that's going to happen. So when it happens, all my attention is going to have to go to building the house. So I don't want to, you know, have the roof hacked off my Jeep in the middle of building a roll cage or something and then have to pull off of it. So I want to keep the projects small. Uh, but still make progress. So that's where the punch list comes in. Number two, events. Events to take the big chief or the ghetto or whatever else. Um, maybe for my fitness goals too, an event that you have to prepare for. That's one thing that the Baja 1000, if you didn't see um, that series, I'll link it right up here. Baja 1000 reiterated this. Um, where like, man, we put in a ton of work in a short amount of time, all came together, got that truck ready for the Baja, and it was rad, it was so cool, it was so awesome to see 
um, to be a part of that team and get everybody together for a common goal of getting this truck finished. And we kind of did the same thing with Bob, you know, with our DPV Gambler 500. It was an event that we were putting on and we had to get Bob ready to go for that. So we're gonna try to have a few events this year put on by DPV and then a few events that we just try to, you know, attend that are put on by other people. Um, so one of these is gonna be called the DPV Underpower Tour. Um, where we take our, you know, just basic hot rods and do a sweet little road trip in the Pacific Northwest. I'll be coming up in June. More details to come. Super excited for that. So we've got some work to do on the Ghetto Glider. We got some work to do on the BBW. Um, we've got my brother-in-law has a Nova. Um, my dad has this sweet ride called the Road Rat. Um, so. Got, got a few rigs that we're trying to get ready for the DPB under power tour. And then um, there's some wheel events. We gotta get the Chief ready for. And being part of that race team with Total Mayhem Racing got me thinking maybe the Jeep needs to be a race Jeep. I don't know. Anyway, we'll, we'll be putting on some events where we're going wheeling. Speaking of wheeling events, if you want to hang out with Alex and I in just a couple days, I guess when this video posts, it'll be tomorrow, New Year's Day, we're doing the Hangover Run at Seven Mile ORV Park. So come check it out. Um, if you're in the Spokane area, it'll be rad. We just got like a foot of snow, so it's gonna be awesome. All right, and number three, as far as getting projects done, um, is accountability. So you gotta find your friends that are into this thing and call each other and say, hey, how's your punch list coming along? Are you getting stuff knocked off? Um, how, did you work on your, uh, you know, did you work on your Jeep this week? Whatever. Um, and just make sure that you guys are making forward progress on your projects. And so I'll be talking once a week with my dad on the phone and Alex just to make sure that I'm on the right track, they're on the right track, and that we are working on our projects. A while back I did say, you know, we hit 500 subscribers and now we've passed on to 600 subscribers. That's so rad. So um, I wanted to do a little giveaway. So this is how it's gonna work. Uh, I'm gonna keep it on YouTube in this video. We're gonna put together a swag bag. In an upcoming video, I'll kind of, you know, allude to what is in that swag bag. It's probably gonna have a t-shirt, some stickers, maybe some other cool stuff. Um, but I wanna just say thank you for hitting 500, now hitting 600. Um, and so this is how it's gonna work. I need you to put your punch list in the comments below. I want 10 items punch list for one of your projects. And then I want you to name someone and I'm just gonna take your word for it by naming them that you've shared this video with them. Um, that is gonna be like your accountability person, the person that you are gonna stay in touch with, you know, once a week or so. Maybe like, hey, how are you doing on your projects? And then the last thing I want you to put in that comment section is what event are you preparing for? What event are you preparing your rig to go be a part of this year, 2021? So, all right. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope 2021 is awesome for you and so glad to wrap up 2020. All right, wheel it, wreck it, wrench it, repeat. See you next time.